Michelle Tennant Nicholson here and welcome to another recipe with fast food from the farmersmarket.com. I have some really good news to share and it's not about my black eye. I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, but I just got an email from the state parks and I had entered a uh, it was the campground cookout contest and I was online one day and I thought, oh, you know what, I've got a good recipe uh, for when you're camping. I'll just go ahead and submit that. And I won. They just let me know. So I get, you know, some cool things. The thing that's really cool is that um, even though I live in the Smoky Mountains, one of the prizes is two nights at a participating Kentucky State Park. And then I also get a Pocket Ranger walking kit and an iTunes gift card. And then I'm going to be part of their Pocket Ranger mobile apps and their blog. You can read about it at parksbynature.com. Well, what they didn't know is, A, that I'm a publicist. And so, of course, I'm going to do, you know, a video online and talk about it on my own blog. I'm so excited about this because I love camping. And I'm also from Kentucky. That's right. In fact, when I was five years old, I was uh, the Miss Dairy Princess for the 4-H Association. <laughs> I traveled around uh, Louisville giving out little awards and so forth. It's, um, I was only five, but it was, I really remember it. Uh, probably started my career as a publicist at the age of five. So what about my eye? <laughs> Sorry, it's shocking, I know. But, you know, outdoorsy people sometimes get black eyes. I had a new boat. I've been kayaking, whitewater kayaking, for about 13 years. And this past weekend, I got a new boat, did a rapid um, in a whitewater river in the Smoky Mountains called the Green River. I probably run this rapid 100 times. And I rolled and hit a rock. So I've been calling it my rock in roll kayaking shiner. Okay, so... Um, I didn't want to wait to do this, though, for the um, State Park Association, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how to make this, okay? Now, as you know, this year I started eating organically and healthier, and I usually get all my stuff from the farmer's market, but I thought, gosh, you know, there's a lot of fishermen and families who really need some um, tasty and inexpensive camping ideas. And so that's where this recipe comes in. And by the way, I just bought my ingredients and the total bill, it would feed a family of four, $14.36. So really, really affordable. And I bought organic. This is organic. I bought organic chicken sausage. You can also get the other types of sausage if you like the kielbasa and stuff. I just have not been doing nitrates. So feel free to put whatever meat that you want in there. And then a vegetable and starch. That's your formula, okay? Whatever meat you want, a starch. So um, starches would include things like corn or potatoes, um, turnips, and and um, different things that have like a starchy feel to them, okay? And um, you could even do some types of bread. You know, do like a heartier bread. And then also a vegetable. Okay, so what I've chosen to do is I've got uh, an organic chicken sausage, and that's what we've got right here, and I've just cut them into bite-sized pieces, okay, and then I've got a stir-fry. This is a vegetable, or a pepper mix, so it's got red and green and yellow peppers with onions in it, and then I've got sweet corn, and then I also have, I got these, I haven't used these yet, but I found these today because I thought, I normally cut up my own potatoes, but I wanted to show what you could do quickly just going to the grocery and then going camping, okay? So I got these in the, fr uh, the freezer department. There were a lot of varieties of frozen potatoes. I chose one that was, that was cut like this, like little chunks, um, because that's going to actually cook in the fire better. But you could just do fresh, completely fresh vegetables and meat if you wanted to. You would just have to cook it longer. I, this is all frozen, with the exception of the sausage, which is great because then you can just put it in your cooler and while you're out fishing or hiking or whatever you're doing for that day, biking, kayaking, then it'll be in your, uh, it'll be unthawing in your cooler and it'll be ready to go uh, when you're ready to cook. You just want to make sure you want to watch any extra water and pour that off, okay? So, it's a foil packet. <laughs> also, for you bachelors out there, this is always a great bachelor recipe. When I met my husband um, in 2002, I showed him how to do this with uh, chicken and vegetables in the oven. 
You just take a frozen chicken breast, you add your vegetables, and maybe some corn or some potatoes, or just vegetables if you don't want to have any starch on there, and you can have your starch on the side. He used to do instant mashed potatoes. But then you, you're going to do what we're doing and put it in your oven for about 50 minutes at 400 degrees. And that's a great bachelor meal. <laughs> okay? So foil packets. And so then I have um, just pieces of foil. So you can just throw your foil in your car um, or your kit, your pack, your backpack. If you're, you're backpacking, then you can just put all this, you know, in your pack. And what you want to do is take your foil. Now, if you want to put some olive oil... Um, or something else in here, that's fine. It's not necessary, especially if you have frozen vegetables because there's going to be some liquid on there, okay? And these are these cute, my little yum yum dishes for my portion control. So these are um, yum yum dish. They are about a half a cup each. These are for people who are trying to lose weight. And then my regular viewers on my YouTube channel uh, will know this, okay? But anyway, so I'm just going to do about a half of that. So that's about a fourth of a cup, and you can put whatever you want in here, you know, just get crazy with whatever you want. We're just going to do corn, peppers and onions, and then we're going to do a few of these potatoes. Boy, my husband's going to be excited that I won this today, because this is what we're having for dinner. <laughs> and then these sausages, these are nitrate free and humanely raised, been looking for that in my meat. And then that's it. Now, if you like your things a bit more plain, just leave it as is because there's already seasonings in these potatoes. This brand had grilled garlic and onion uh, already added to the potatoes, so that should be fine. If you like things spicier um, or if you're doing everything from fresh, my recommendation is just take your favorite steak seasoning that you would put on the grill, whatever you would season your meat with, or your chicken seasoning and add that. Um, you know, you also, a lot of campers will have this type of multi-spice thing, and in here we've got granulated garlic and seasoned salt, and you can just put a mixture of whatever you want in there. Um, I like to use this, this is called Spike. This is a, a seasoning that doesn't have monosodium glutamate in it, so it's a little healthier. And then, of course, if you're from the South, you know, we, li we love our Cajun seasoning, so I, I've got my Tony's here. And um, I've been really impressed with this line um, of the uh, McCormick. They have grill mates, and they've got a bunch. Like this one's spicy, Montreal steak, but then there's also one that's mesquite that would be amazing in this recipe. So whatever, whatever seasoning you want is fine or none. I'm going to add a little bit of spike because it's just a little, like a, a, a seasonal, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, and then it's really hard, y'all. You fold it like a little tent, okay, and then you fold it on this side, making sure that you close all the little air, but you're leaving it like a little tent inside so that it can actually cook and the air can circulate inside, okay? And there he is. <laughs> and then I've got the grill going right now, so I'm going to go put that on the grill, and I'm going to, you know, in a half hour, I'm going to check to see what it looks like to see if it's... Um, exactly what I want. If I don't, then I'm going to um, cook it some more. If you're actually doing uh, camping in the middle of nowhere and you just have uh, a campfire and you, have, you can throw, you can make it a little tighter and you can actually put um, the whole packet right into the camp fire, okay? What we like to do is we like to put it around the edge so that it doesn't get too hot. And then you can, you know, put it around the edge of the campfire and maybe turn it. And then you might actually have to open it. And be careful, maybe bring a mitt or something so you can open it. Because when you open it, that steam is going to be coming out. So um, be careful about that. But then you can test it to see if it's at a correct doneness. We have done this with raw potatoes before. And everybody's like, when are the potatoes going to be done? You know, everything else is like looking really tasty except for the potatoes. So you might want to cut your potatoes up pretty small if you're going to do it with potatoes. But that's really it. I mean, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, I don't think that, <laughs> um, I didn't think that I would win, but I'm really excited to be the winner of the, the campground cookout contest and, and maybe for my regulars at, here at Fast Food from the Farmer's Market since it's, you know, it's camp season right now. It's the fall and um, I'm going to be going camping myself in a few weeks. I think that maybe I'll come up with a few other really great things to, 
eat outside and, and prepare outside that's easy and affordable and healthy for your family. Have a great day and let me know what you think and, and if you have some interesting combinations that you want to share with other people, maybe you don't like the sausage, maybe you want to do a vegetarian version and you cook it, email me back, put, post it on the YouTube channel so that we know and can get ideas from you as well. Oh, and I'm going to put, after I cook this right now, I'm going to put a picture up because I have uh, my friends from Australia, they always like email me and say, we want to see what it looks like after it's all done. And Virginia, who emailed me from the State Park Association, she's like, I want a picture um, to put alongside the recipe. So look for that picture. I'll post a link to that picture inside the description at YouTube uh, right below this video. Bye. And don't worry, the shiner's going away and healing just fine. <laughs> Bye.